Let's talk about the early warning signs of appendicitis. Now, first of all, do we really need our appendix? I mean, isn't it just an extra organ? Well, actually, you do need your appendix. It serves a very, very important purpose. It's your insurance policy. It's your backup for when you get food poisoning and get diarrhea, or you have some type of gut infection where you have diarrhea and you lose your good bacteria. So there's a concentrated amount of good bacteria and immune factors that's sitting in this appendix that will be released if you have diarrhea because your body wants to prevent the bad bacteria from stepping in and taking over. So it's there to help you replenish the good bacteria. So here we have the small intestine over here and it connects with a little valve called the ileocecal valve. And then you have the large intestine, okay? And the appendix is right down here. And sometimes that can be blocked with various things, even from a parasite or a stone, or because your diet is poor, you get inflammation and this closes down, and then that gets infected. And the early symptoms usually are going to be a sudden pain between the location of where your appendix is and your belly button. So about two inches to the right of your belly button. Okay, you're gonna notice this sudden pain right there, or nausea or you're gonna have bowel changes, diarrhea or constipation, or pain around your belly button. Or you might have a low-grade fever because there's an infection going on. But these are the early signs of appendicitis. Now, I remember when I was a kid, I probably was seven years old, and I was complaining of pain in my abdomen. My mother took me to the hospital. And I remember laying on this table and the doctor is pressing around to see if there's any pain. And I remember him pressing right over this point and it hurt really bad and I didn't say anything. So that could have been a potential big problem, but it really wasn't. It was probably some something I ate because I lived on sugar back then, but I said there wasn't pain and then I went home and nothing ever occurred from that. But there's some really important things that you could do to prevent appendicitis. And number one is making sure you have enough probiotics there's many different types of probiotics out there. You get one that survives the stomach, but probiotics can act to protect the colon against infection. So probiotics are really, really, really important in keeping your immune system really, really strong and also making healthy lactic acid to prevent the unfriendly bacteria and things that can set in in the lower uh, colon. Number two, make sure you have enough fiber to feed these microbes, okay? And I'm talking about vegetables. That would be a good thing. Number three, cut the sugar down because pathogens love sugar and we want to avoid sugar, uh, thus the ketogenic diet, right? Okay, garlic is really good to kill off microbes and prevent infections in the large intestine. Thyme is an herb. Rosemary is a good natural antibiotic, uh, but it only really kills the bad guys, not the good guys. Onion is good. Oregano is really, really good. And uh, you can see all these uh, herbs are normally in a pizza. So go ahead and eat more pizza. I'm being very, very sarcastic. You can put these on different foods, different dishes, meats, things like that. And radish. Radish is really, really good as well. Uh, apple cider vinegar is very healthy for the colon. And fasting. Fasting gives your intestines a chance to chill out and also allows the food to cycle through. So you're not cramming food down there 24 seven to set you up for um, appendicitis. And lastly, if you haven't seen my video on digestion, I put it up right here. It's actually a very important video.